some theory we are doing then i am starting with mcq what is atomic number atomic number hello what is atomic number number of protons or number of electrons correct very good number of proton is called atomic number, number and number of proton will be equal to number of electrons. number of protons is called as atomic number it is denoted by what z na it is denoted by z and number of proton is always equal to number of electron what is mass number number of what nucleons huh? yes number of nucleon is sum of what proton plus neutron is called as mass number it is denoted by a therefore what will be number of nucleons equal to number of nucleons sorry neutron a means proton plus neutron z means only proton if i subtract i will get number of neutrons hello yes just copy this to formulate dance radius of nucleus is of the order of 10 raised to 15 meter it is given by formula R equals to R zero, A is to one by two, where R zero is a constant. Its value is one point two five into ten raise to minus fifteen meter. A is called as mass number. Okay, write this one.
What is ISO? Top ISO bar and ISO tone. What are isotopes? This is chemistry. You should know now. What are isotopes? Same atomic number, different mass number. Correct. Having same atomic number Z, but different mass number. And isobar having same mass number, but different. Atomic number. Isotone having same number of neutrons. Copy this three definition. Nonsense. Mass defect. Defect means there must be some error. It can be more, it can be less. Suppose these are five different atoms. When I measure them separately, the total comes X. When I combine them together and measure, it comes Y. If there is difference in the two, then there is some defect. That is called as mass defect. Okay. Yes. So it is found that the mass of sum of protons and neutrons is different than mass of nucleons. Nucleons are dono ka saath mein. This defect is this defect, sum of proton is different than total mass of nucleons. This defect is called as mass defect. This defect is called as mass defect. So given by delta M is mass of neutron into mass of proton into Z plus mass of neutron into A minus Z minus total mass. Just copy this formula.
Yes, sir. What is one minute? Yeah, I'm not ready. Yes. Einstein suggested that when mass can be converted into energy, then that energy is given by mc square. Okay, where c is the speed of light in air. Now this mass which is coming less, so where it is going actually? So this mass is getting converted into energy required to bind the nucleons. Hello. Yes, sir. Suppose ten people are sitting in one closed room. I want to check ये कब तक अंदर रहते बाहर नहीं आते। तो मैंने बाहर से heater start किया। जैसे twenty degree हो गया कोई आया नहीं। Thirty five एक बाहर आ गया। तो मुझे समझ गया minimum thirty five करेंगे तब तक ये लोग अंदर रहने वाले। उससे ज़्यादा किया तो सब बाहर आ जाएंगे। so minimum energy required to separate the nucleons is called as binding energy suppose nucleons are binded by energy of 2 joule if i give from outside minimum 2 can it liberate itself hello hello yes sir if somebody says i have passed 12 standard so what should I assume? He has got minimum 35 or not? Out of 100? Yes. yes. So, uska binding 35. So the minimum energy required to free the nucleons. Minimum energy required to free the nucleons is called as binding energy. That energy comes from where? This energy has come from where? From mass defect. Jitna mass come ho gaya na, wo convert ho gaya binding energy. So binding energy is mass defect into C square in joules. Have you followed this much? Hello? Yes, sir. Please copy yes, this much. Yeah, copy it in this. Simple topic only because you have not done in depth, you might find it new. I think a chemistry may be high up atomic structure. None, sir. Yeah.
if delta m is in amu that is atomic mass unit or u which is called unified unit this is nothing but mass of 1/12th of carbon c12 mass of 1/12th atom of carbon atom this is called 1 amu 1 amu is 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 26 kg we not need not remember all this just for your understanding i'm telling so binding energy is delta m into 931 if it is given in amu million electron volt so generally you will get question on this mass is in amu find binding energy in mev means million electron volt so multiply with 935 now binding energy per nucleon if they are is equals to binding energy upon mass number this is called binding energy per nucleon copy this much again Yes, done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is radioactivity? What is radioactivity? Hello. The phenomenon of spontaneous emission of in visible radiations phenomenon of spontaneous emission of invisible radiations from nucleus of radio active substance is called as radio Activity. Which are the three rays which are emitted in radioactivity? Alpha, beta, and gamma. Yes, rays emitted are alpha, beta, gamma. Please copy again till this much.
when alpha particles are emitted then mass number decreases by 4 and atomic number decreases by 2 when eta particles are emitted then mass number remains unchanged and atomic number increases by 1 when gamma particles are emitted then atomic number and mass number remains unchanged right this three point regarding alpha beta gamma सर बीटा प्लस एंड बीटा माइनस दो होता है ना हाँ बीटा प्लस को बोलते हैं पॉजिट्रॉन और बीटा माइनस को बोलते हैं न्यूट्रॉन वो वो मैं नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में कवर करूंगा दे आर कॉल्ड सब एटॉमिक पार्टिकल अभी हम खाली एटॉमिक पे कर रहे हैं completed yes sir so now i'm starting with mcq last class we completed till what sir 19 till 19 we did okay Aniket, you are remembering what is wavelength of first line in Balmer series?
अनेके वेवलेंथ ऑफ फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ बालमर सीरीज where i forgot pardon i forgot that 6561 remember now 6561 repeat in your mind two three times 6561 how much 6561 uh -huh. just remember because it will be very easy to solve the sums if it uh, if i know the value now based on this i think we have done till 19 correct yes sir come to sum number 20 check the correctness of the equation of the following statement for bohr's model of hydrogen atom first one we'll check whether it is correct or incorrect the acceleration of electron in second orbit is more than in first orbit what is relation between acceleration and number of orbit inversely proportional ke directly proportional to something of n hello last class i think i had explained you a is v square by r this is 1 upon n square into n square so it is inversely proportional to fourth that means if orbit is decreasing then acceleration should increase because it is inversely proportional so a in 2 second orbit is less than a in first orbit because it is inversely proportional hello hello yes sir yes sir they are saying acceleration in second orbit is more is wrong second one momentum in second is more than in the first momentum mvr is nh upon 2 pi so clearly we can say momentum in second is greater than first so this is correct one third kinetic energy of electron in second orbit is less than in first kinetic energy formula is e square upon 8 pi epsilon not mr if you remember For electron, or you can take half m v square, whichever case. So kinetic energy of electron in second orbit is less. Second orbit means higher orbit. Higher orbit means kinetic energy is less. Potential energy is more. So kinetic energy is less than first. This is also correct. Three statement they have given. All the statements are correct. No, only two and three are correct. Yes, so option B. Have you followed? Hello, have you followed this now? Yes, sir. Okay. Done? Can I go ahead? Yes. Twenty one. The energy denoted by E, magnitude of linear momentum L, and orbital radius, linear momentum they have taken P, orbital radius R, according to principal quantum number. Are E P R respectively? Then which relation is correct one? E P R proportional to. I know E is proportional to one upon n square. Linear momentum is mass into velocity, so proportional to one by n. And R is proportional to n square. 
so that means this will be proportional to 1 by n so our a option is wrong e into r is constant for all orbit e into r means proportional to 1 upon n square into n square so this will get cancel we will get constant for all orbit second is correct one third p upon e p is 1 upon n and 1 upon e will become n square that means proportional to n this is not correct d p r is independent let us see p is 1 upon n r is n square so in fact it depends upon n so b is correct option copy done so. a particle of charge q and mass m moving with constant speed v perpendicular to magnetic field so many times i have told in chapter called magnetic field whenever charge enters perpendicular to the field your start should be this q v v equals to m v square upon r never forget this our our start q v b equals to m v square upon r then i will read what they have given a charge q mass m moving with speed v and perpendicular to the magnetic field follows circular path if angular momentum about the center of this circle is quantized so that mvr equals to nh upon mvr is nh upon 2 pi we know by four second postulate then allowed radius will be what allowed radius in terms of n and q they want so this is first equation this is second equation so q v b is m v square by r v i can cancel r will be m v upon q b but everywhere it is r square so what i am doing i am multiplying both side by r so it will come m v r which is r square equals to angular momentum nh upon 2 pi into qb nh upon 2 pi into qb option a have you followed yes okay.
Nancy. Okay. 24. Redbox constant R for hydrogen atom is equals to. Redbox constant is M E raised to 4 upon 8 epsilon naught square H cube into C. Or you can write energy in nth orbit is minus R C H upon n square. So M E raised to 4, 8 epsilon 0 H cube C is option B, I think. Option B. An electron in hydrogen atom first jumps from second excited state. So this is ground state. This is called first excited state. And this one is called second excited state. So actually speaking, first excited means n equals to 2 and second excited is n equals to 3. So if the electron jumps from second to the first excited state, second to the first, and then from first to the ground, let the ratio of wavelength ratio of wavelength 2 to 1 uh, sorry 3 to 2 and 2 to 1 ratio of wavelength is given as a momentum and momentum p from 3 to 2 and 2 to 1 is B. Energy from 3 to 2 and from 2 to 1 is given C. Then which one is the correct representation? B is 1 by C. The energy and momentum, they don't have relation B equal to 1 by C. So I cannot write this. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. B equal to 1 by C is not true, no? Because momentum upon energy is not reciprocal. Momentum, if I take MB, what is kinetic energy? E square upon 2F, correct? Hello? Yes, sir. Kinetic energy is p square upon 2. So this is b and this is c. Then b will be equal to c square. So this is the first option gone. Second option. Jumps ratio of wavelength. Ka check kar kar. First option gone because it is not giving appropriate. Wavelength ka ratio. One upon lambda two to one to one upon lambda three to two is R into one upon one square minus one upon two square, and this will be one upon two square minus one upon three square. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. So, you 3, 2 up per chala jayega. So, lambda 3, 2 upon lambda 2, 1 RR cancel. 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 4. 1 by 4 minus 1 upon 9. So, 4 minus 1, 3 by 4. This will be 9 minus 4, 5 by 36. That will be 3 by 4 into 36 upon 4 into 9. 27 upon 5. Hey, kya yeh option? Yes. Yes. Sir. So B is that.
क्लियर सम नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू घोर्स थियरी ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एटम प्रोडक्ट ऑफ बाइंडिंग एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इन एंथ ऑर्बिट एंड रेडियस in nth orbit has constant value of now if this is constant product of these two is constant then can i say this will be same as binding energy in first into radius in first which is same as second into second third into third clear meaning to you प्रोडक्ट इज कॉन्स्टेंट मतलब कोई भी ऑर्बिट का प्रोडक्ट सेम टू सेम आना चाहिए ना एनर्जी इन फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट बाइंडिंग मतलब ऑपोजिट ऑफ टोटल एनर्जी सो इट इज 13.6 इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट उल्टा ऑफ माइनस 13.6 रेडियस आई हैड टोल्ड यू रिमेंबर 0.53 एंस्ट्रॉम यूनिट अगर आपको याद है तो नाउ 13.6 इनटू 0.53 ट्राई टू मल्टीप्लाई अप्रोक्सीमेटली इसको समझ लो 14, इसको समझ लो 0.5, मतलब इसको थोड़ा ज्यादा इसको कम समझा दैट इज नथिंग बट क्लोज टू सेवन है क्या क्लोज टू सेवन ऑप्शन सेवन पॉइंट टू दिट इज अवर आंसर सेवन पॉइंट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट एम स्ट्रॉन्ग देखो एग्जाम में क्लिक नहीं होगा ये वॉट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट बट कॉन्स्टेंट बोल दिया मतलब लाइक बॉइल्स लॉन्ग P1, V1, A is P2, V2. So here also binding energy of first into radius of first will be binding energy of second into radius of second, or binding energy of nth equals radius of nth. Twenty-sixth. Check the correctness of following statement regarding Bohr's model of hydrogen atom. First one, same type to which we did earlier. Angular momentum in second orbit is more than in nth orbit. Angular momentum is n h upon two pi. That means L two is greater than L one is absolutely correct. Okay. The kinetic energy of electron in second orbit is more. Kinetic energy in second orbit is less than kinetic energy in first. So this is wrong. They are telling it is more. This is wrong. So the acceleration. is inversely proportional to fourth power so acceleration in second will be less than in first they are also telling same so this is correct that means 3 and 1 are correct yes 3 and 1 are correct
Yes, done. Yes, sir. Twenty-seven. Energy level. A, B, C of certain atom corresponds to increasing values of energy. So A, B, C corresponds to increasing values. As we go up, energy increases because negative will become less negative. So E A is less than E B, E B is less than E C. That means they are arranged in higher order. Lambda one, lambda two, lambda three are wavelength of radiation corresponding to transition from C to B is lambda one. B to A lambda two, and C to A lambda three. Then what is correct relation between them? See, we know that E C minus E B will be H C upon lambda one. And E B minus E A will be H C upon lambda two, and E C minus E A is H C upon lambda three. Now, small observation will give one relation. E C minus E B plus E B minus E A. If you see carefully, will become E C minus E A because this minus E B plus E B cancels. This line, if you have followed, then it is one line. I'll follow. What is E C minus E B? H C upon lambda one. This is H C upon lambda two. H C upon lambda three. H C H C H C cancel. So one upon lambda three will become lambda two. Plus lambda one upon lambda one lambda two, so lambda three is product upon sum. Okay, lambda three product upon sum option B. Very important has been asked in the exam. Good. Yes. Okay. Now, five minutes. Phone call, madam. If lecture, then we will go. The next one, nuclei thirteen C six, thirteen C six, and fourteen N seven can be described as what? Now we cannot see neither mass number nor atomic number is same. So I saw top bhi nahi, I saw bar bhi nahi. Abhi neutron check karte. 
in first case number of neutrons will be 13 minus 6 which is 7 in carbon and in n number of neutrons will be 14 minus 7 also 7 so are these two same to same hello 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 number of yes, neutrons sir. number of neutrons same means what they are isotones isotones so option a they are isotones nans okay 29 the stable nucleus that has radius radius is half that of fp is which one so we know radius is r0 a raised to 1 by 3 R two upon radius of F P will be A of second one into F P का A दिया है fifty six raised to one by B. See R zero will get cancelled, so R two upon F P is A two upon F P वाला atomic mass uh, mass number which is given fifty six. So this is half of F P. Upon F P is missing mass number upon fifty six raised to one by three F P F P cancel. So if I cube both side, I will get one upon eight equals to F P upon fifty six eight into seven fifty six. So A two is seven. Mass number seven. Let me check. Is that it? That is. Lithium seven they have given so option D twenty ninth clear twenty ninth one yes do Nansa. Thirtieth, the activity of radioactive substance sample can be increased? No. Can be decreased? No. Can be neither increased or decreased. Option D. Thirty-one. If I one, I two, I three are ionization power. Alpha का ionization power I think it is maximum you all know this. So I of alpha is greater than I of beta is greater than I of gamma and penetration is ultra. So I one is greater than I two greater than I three option A. Thirty two.
carbon nucleus emits particle x and changes into nitrogen nucleus according to following scheme c14 6 emits x and becomes nitrogen 14 7 what is this x this is minus 1 e0 hona chahiye na ye x hai na hello hello yes sir by law of conservation of charge this is 14 so 14 plus 0 Six so seven minus one that is possible for electron so x is nothing but electron x is an electron that is option A Done? Yes, sir. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll continue this topic. First, I will explain theory of 